go to can ping the, uh, the testing site that I would like to run a test for you. First it validates that it can indeed run the tests well. If it validated, then it will uh, begin to get uh, patches. This is going this is going to make it a lot easier to get people uh, donate resources for the testing effort. Uh, currently, depending on uh, how powerful uh, the bo your box is, it takes uh, any time uh, from 3 to uh, 20 minutes uh, to run the test. Uh, and and if we, we, we need to run every test thrice for 3 to paces, that means that every patch takes at least 10 minutes, but maybe an hour, which means that, let's say half an hour, which means that we need as many boxes, as many patches people are going to submit during that half hour, and it's even worse than that, because every patch which is uh, at patch need, needs review stage needs to be constantly retested, because it is possible that the patch no longer applies, it is possible that the uh, patch uh, is broken, so it, uh, there is no point, uh, so it needs to be reset, so patch code needs work. So there is even more. So there will be a huge need uh, for boxes. I think these three are the biggest uh, advantages of the second testing framework. Yeah, the other thing that will let you, us do is roll out the same testing thing to contrib as well. Uh, which is great because that means the next time Earl submits a patch to views, he knows with full confidence that it's not breaking anything that he has test coverage for. So as people contribute tests to, to make sure that the fundamentals are working, that means you have less of a situation where I just updated from 1.1 to 1.2 and my entire site closed. Um, it's going to be a gradual process, but that's eventually where you're going to be. Um, so that's simple test module. Um, I'll just stuff in there. We also retooled a few uh, administration screens, for example, the permission screen um, now have uh, descriptions next to the permissions, so you know what the heck you're enabling there. Um, these are also translatable now, uh, which is really nice. Um, we also have a new administrator role. Wow! Yeah, right? Um, so we're really trying to like address some of these like fundamental things that people just expect to be there and aren't. Um, so, you know, this is one example. There's also some nice kind of UI stuff. So for example, um, if I check delete own article content for authenticated user, it's automatically going to check it over here. So it'll check it for all of the roles because that's what that checkbox actually means, but you can't tell that. Normal people can't tell it because there's no visual indication. So it, it helps a little bit with that. Um, there's also some other like kind of just moving things around sort of things that we've done. Um, so under site configuration, we've now put stuff like uh, uh, rename, rename input formats to text formats because they don't have anything to do with input at all, um, which is kind of nice. Uh, we also have done stuff like, you know, on the themes page. The administration theme is on the themes page and not buried in site configuration somewhere when you don't even know it exists, so that's kind of nice. Um, we also have done stuff like, oh, this is my favorite little tweak thing. Um, if you hit edit here, Uh, yeah, that's one of them. Where's the other one I'm looking for? Oh, I'm looking for the one where it's like, uh, ah, and yeah, that is it. Yeah, that's totally it. Okay, so this thing, display post information, currently that's under administer site building themes, and then configure, but not global configure, it's configure under the specific theme that you're on. So now we put it somewhere where it actually makes sense. Put it with the content. Yeah. So just some stuff like that. Um, blocks page is pretty much the same, although this is interesting. Uh, the content region is now a block region. Uh, and that has big implications.